in this example the goal is to find the power associated with the current source using node voltage method the five steps involved in applying the node voltage method are shown here let's see how we can systematically apply these steps to solve the circuit step number one is identify essential nodes in the circuit recall that an essential node is a point where three or more circuit elements meet in this given circuit there a there are two voltage sources and there is one current source and there are five resistors this point in the circuit is an essential node because three circuit elements are joining this point is an essential node so is this point and this point so there are in fact four essential nodes in this circuit note that this point is where two circuit elements are joining so it is a node but it is not an essential node similarly this point in the circuit is a node but not an essential node step number two is to select one of the essential nodes and make it a reference node in this example we're going to make this node as the reference node and this is indicated by the ground symbol and then we can label the remaining nodes as v1 v2 and v3 step number three is to apply Kirchhoff current law to the remaining nodes and write the equations the systematic way to do that is assume all branch currents are flowing away from each node so here we have one two three branch currents at this node we have one two three branch currents similarly at this node we have one two and three branch currents now we are ready to write the kcl equations at these three nodes so let's get started so this will be so at the first node let's look at this branch current so this is flowing through this resistor so we can apply Ohm's law. So we follow the direction of the assumed branch current and the end where the current is entering the circuit element is at assumed to be at higher potential and the end where the current is leaving is assumed to be lower potential. The voltage here is V1 with respect to ground. The voltage here is V2 with respect to ground. So this branch current is V1 minus V2 over 3. This branch current through the 10 ohm resistor will be voltage at this side minus voltage at this side divided by resistance. So this will be V1 minus V3 over 10. And now we have one branch current remaining which is this one. So this one is a little bit tricky because we cannot apply Ohm's law to this independent voltage source. But we can apply uh, an important technique here which is because the voltage source and the 6 Ohm resistor are in series, the same branch current has to flow through these two components. So for the purpose of writing the equation, we can swap the order of these two components. So we can redraw here. So we have V1 and then we just swap the position. So this is 6 ohm and then the voltage source going to ground. Now, because the voltage source is directly connected between this point and ground the voltage here is 100 volts and now we can apply ohm's law to write the expression for this branch current so this current 
will be v1 minus 100 divided by 6 is equal to 0. Let's now look at node 2. So applying KCL at node 2. So node 2, this branch current will be V2 minus V1 over 3. This branch current will be V2 minus V3 over 2. This branch current, in this branch, there is a current source connected. So the value of the current has to be equal to the magnitude of the current source. We can see that our assumed direction is opposite to the actual direction of the current source. So this branch current is minus 5 is equal to 0. Finally, apply KCL at node 3. So at node 3, let's look at this branch current. This is V3 minus V1 over 10. And through the 2 ohm resistor, this branch current will be V3 minus V2 over 2. And now similar to node 1, we have a voltage source here. We cannot apply Ohm's law to this voltage source. So we apply the technique which is since the 4 ohm resistor and this voltage source are in series, the same current is flowing through them. So for the purpose of writing the equation, we can just so interchange their position. So we can draw this as follows. So we have the voltage source here. We keep the same polarity and then the 4 ohm resistor and this is V3. So now we can apply Ohm's law to this resistor. So this branch current, which is the same as this branch current, will be voltage at this side V3 minus voltage here which is 50 volts because we have a voltage source directly connected between ground and this point. So this branch current is V3 minus 50 over 4 and this is equal to 0. So this completes step 3, applying Kirchhoff current law to the remaining nodes and writing the equations. We can use a calculator to solve these equations. I'm using the solve command with variables v1, v2, and v3. The equations can be entered directly, and then this is the solution obtained using the calculator. Using the calculator, we can show that v1 is equal to 89.5 volts, V2 is 88 volts, and V3 is 77 volts. So this completes step four, solving the equations. Finally, the last step is to solve for the circuit variables. And in this case, we have to solve for the power associated with the current source. So this can be easily done using the node voltages as follows. So a node voltage is defined as a voltage rise with respect to ground. So we can see that the voltage drop across the current source is node voltage V2 and will have this polarity associated with it. So the power is the product of the voltage and the current. So for the current source, this is V2 multiplied by the magnitude of the current source, which is 5. We need to use the passive sign convention to decide the sign of the power calculation. We can see that this current is entering the terminal marked minus. So we use the power calculation with a minus sign and then just substitute the values. So this gives minus 440 watt. So this answer is negative 
because the current source is supplying power to this circuit. Finally, we can check our answer using PSPICE. So this is the simulation result obtained by simulating the circuit in PSPICE. And we can see that the node voltages uh, given by PSPICE exactly match uh, our answer.